liposuction is, uh, suction is an invasive technique. We usually make a four to five millimeters openings only, no big scars. Before it was a little bit dangerous operation, now it's very easy, so safe, uh, almost zero complications, unless the one who is doing is non-professional. Uh, regular liposuction, we just do liposuction after uh, in infiltration with a tumescent. Uh, it gives us the ability to contour the body. Uh, and one tip, it's not about losing weight, it's about shaping of the body. Losing weight is just do a diet. But contouring the body gives you a new shape and gives you a push to start losing more weight for the patient. You can uh, do contouring using re regular liposuction, or you can, we can use the VASER technique or G plasma technique. The VASER technique, we use the same opening that we do for liposuction. It's four or five millimeters also. We don't do any more scars. And uh, it's safe that we use the microwaves to uh, distract the bounds between the fat cells, making it more liquefied, that we can liposuck it easily and gives us the ability to do more contouring for the body. And the microwaves gives heat for the skin that makes the skin shrink and gives us more tightening that in, in small degrees of skin laxity, we, it gives great results. The next technique after VASER, it was G-plasma and this is the, the latest technique. We have the G-plasma and we have the VASER technique, both are available. The G-plasma technique, it's about uh, ionizing helium. We use the helium that when ionized, it gives heat. Heat that we can control, it's almost 38, 40 degrees. We can control it inside the body. And we use the same openings also, no, no need for more scars or more openings we do in the body. When we control the heat from inside the skin, it makes micro burn from the inner surface of the skin that allow the skin to shrink and gives us more tightening without any burn or complication that appears on the skin from outside. When we heat the skin from inside to be 38 or 40 degrees, that means the temperature inside the skin is almost above the temperature we can detect from outside using the thermal cam by almost 20 or 18 degrees, that is almost 60 from inside. We use the thermal cam when we do G plasma to monitor the temperature of the skin. Once it's 38, 40, maximum 42, we stop heating the skin to avoid burn. And this gives us the ability to avoid complications that other old techniques did. It's about the burning skin. Using G plasma and VASER, it's very safe for the patient. Uh, we use no scars. Uh, it's regular, like the like, regular liposuction. Uh, no need to be afraid of it. Now it's a simple procedure we are doing in, in OT. And uh, you can do it for more skin tightening and more contouring for the body. Non-invasive uh, skin tightening using HIFU. Uh, it's non-invasive that we doesn't need to do any uh, scars in the skin, no openings, anything. We use the ultrasound technique that is centerless. When we use the ultrasound technique, it heats the skin from inside according to the depth we are hitting it by the ultrasound. We can use 5 ml depth or 3 ml depth or 1 ml depth. The depth that we hit with ultrasound, it's being heated by ultrasound and the, we distract the old collagen, allowing the body to renew the destructive collagen and build a new collagen. It's called baby collagen. And this gives more skin tightening. 
it's a new era in skate tightening using non-invasive technique and uh, some we, we can use for the face uh, for uh, contouring the jawline uh, for the body even we are using sometimes for the mild degree of skin laxity in the thighs and the arm and the abdomen we use uh, it's not painful it's just you will feel tangling uh, the precautions before no need for any, any precautions before the, uh, the procedure after the procedure you will not feel any pain you will just feel maybe some discomfort for hours this is only uh, no uh, changing for the color of the skin you can go out immediately you can go for your regular life no need to stay away from the sun okay you need to be two or three days after the procedure not to be in direct exposure for sun but no need to be away from the street if you want it's a safe technique and if anybody can do it but when the people who have the the mild degree of to, uh, of skin laxity not the severe degrees also the of course the severe degree of laxity they need operations surgical operations for the patient who will do uh, the high foot technique they should use post the procedure they should put cold fomentations or cold compresses for the face or the area they will do in the body to avoid being grit and to decrease the hotness feeling of the hot ultrasound wave that we applied for the skin it gives you a more comfort sensation and decrease the redness that m might appear from some some people who have sensitive skin and they might apply for two three days uh, some steroids for the skin if it's little bit red but if it's not red no need for the applying the skin and for patients who are doing a high for, for the neck to uh, to make the jawline nicer they can put a corset for the skin for the neck uh, the corset they can use uh, for maximum four hours per day for one month no need to put all the day only four hours only and uh, it's a nice and safe technique and a lot of patients are doing now and we have a great results and after 30 days you can repeat the haifu if you didn't have the satisfied uh, results you can repeat it and you get more and some patients are doing three and four sessions over three or four months and now they have marvelous results no need for surgical intervention or scars big scars around the ear or big scars just below the neck Thank you.